Welcome to part two of the Seikon walkthrough. In this video, we'll look at using the stability and control toolbox to calculate the stability derivatives of the Seikon aircraft. First, let's open the stability and controls toolbox. Under the settings, the first thing we see is the rotation coordinate system. From the NASA paper, this aircraft rotates about a different coordinate system than the MRP. We'll have to create a new coordinate system to account for this. The coordinate system is about 85 centimeters from the nose. We can go ahead and select this new coordinate system in the SCT panel. The first coefficient to calculate is the derivative of z-force to pitch rate. This is one of the coefficients listed in the NASA paper that we can validate against. We want to calculate the force at the moment reference points, so we'll specify that, and the units in terms of coefficients. Please note how the force and moment coefficients are defined in FlightStream. See the user manual for more info. In the NASA paper, the CZQ derivative is non dimensionalized by the V ref over the chord. So we'll calculate that as our coefficient constant. Finally, don't forget to select which boundaries to calculate the forces on. We're going to repeat the process for the derivative of pitching moment to pitch rate. Again, make sure you're non dimensionalizing your coefficients appropriately. This is critical to getting a good validation solution. For comparison against the wind tunnel data, we need to set the angle of attack to 5 degrees. Go ahead and run the coefficient calculation. Flightstream will automatically detect and perturb the aircraft across the degrees of freedom needed to calculate the derivatives specified. The solution is now complete, and we can see the derivatives here. Let's now compare them versus the wind tunnel data. While there is definitely some differences in value, the sign and order of magnitude is correct, and this is typically considered acceptable, especially for conceptual vehicle design tools such as Flightstream. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave a comment on this video, or you can also contact us directly at researchinflight.com.